You might be feeling bad about yourself and asking why is it that you always get to keep meeting people who are toxic into your life that would drain every emotional energy that you have and leave you broken. You begin to think that something must be definitely wrong somewhere and you are looking for how to fix it. Beloved, I want you to know this today that there is absolutely nothing wrong with you and you are just okay the way you are. But there are just certain good traits in you that seems to attract this toxic and wrong people into your life. And because you have failed to set the boundaries, you allow them to remain in your life. And in the end, you feel used and rejected. Because of the nature of person that you are which, I am not telling you to change that about you. You will keep on attracting these people, and it doesn't mean you would not attract the good. You will. It's just a matter of time. But our goal here today is to redefine those traits that makes you attractive to this toxic people by telling you the reason that is attracting them and see how you can set boundaries in order not to have them leeching on you forever like a pest until they eventually destroy every bit of the good person that you are. One of the reasons why you attract toxic and wrong people into your life is because that you are a pleaser. You go out of your way almost all the time trying to please people even though it is at the detriment of your happiness. You don't mind giving up something that you know you need or love to other people just because you feel that you need to do that as a good person. You are driven by negative self-thought and you feel that you have no value for yourself except by doing good to someone at all times even if it would cause you to lose a part of yourself. My dear, to be good is a virtue, and I don't want you to change that about yourself. But I want you to know that being good doesn't mean you can't say no. Saying no doesn't make you a bad person. It only means that yes, you are willing to do something good for someone, but you have certain boundaries that you do not cross, especially if it is beginning to drain you. The hard truth is that you cannot please someone all the time. And even if you try, you would only end up frustrated because that same person might not even realize that that's what you are doing. You are supposed to learn how to love yourself first, put yourself first. Doesn't mean you would not put someone else's needs before yours. It just means that you value yourself more not to always give out all of you in trying to please someone. Toxic people are always close by, looking for just the kind of you who would be willing to do anything for them so they can take advantage. Toxic people find people who are pleasers attractive because they need someone who would be willing to go all out for them, not minding if it would hurt. They would be blackmailing you emotionally and make you feel that it's your responsibility to take care of their baggage. The person who is right for you is someone who would be happy to see you loving yourself more. Happy to see you putting yourself first and he or she would not make you lose a part of yourself in order to please them. It's really good to be good, but please set your boundaries when the right person comes. They would appreciate those boundaries. Remember, you can't please someone all the time. Another reason why you attract toxic and wrong people is that you're a positive person. Being positive is a really good thing because when you are positive, you will be able to attract positive things into your life. But positivity is even more attractive to a toxic and wrong person. A toxic person is used to seeing their life in a dark tone. They are empty vessels looking for who to fill them up. And if you are not careful, they would also dim your light. A toxic person always sees the worst in every situation. You can even call them pessimists and your optimism helps them find a balance between two worlds. Your light is always a breath of fresh air to them and like I have said earlier that opposites attract each other. You help them feel good about themselves but deep down they think that you are delusional and not realistic. We all need a bit of pessimism in life to help us face the disappointment that life throws at us from time to time. But the bottom line here is, set the boundaries when they are trying to force their negative ideas into you. Let them be because no matter how positive you are, 
they would always have something negative to say, and at first you would be okay with it, but later it would become frustrating. If you let toxic people in, they will suck the positivity out of you. Know this, that I'm not saying you should stop being positive in order not to attract toxic people. No, keep being who you are, but set boundaries eventually someone who will appreciate this side of you will come. Set boundaries because you do not want to be keeping the wrong person in your life and because you don't want to end up hurt and miserable. Also, the reason why you are attracting toxic and wrong people is that you are searching for a perfect match. It is good to have standards about the person that you want in your life. It helps you know what you want but the problem here is you are a perfectionist and you are looking for what is perfect. And trust me, you will always end up for what is wrong. What looks like perfect, but it's nowhere close to even manageable. When someone realizes that you are looking for a particular kind of person, from your actions, they will try to fit into that picture by pretending to be someone that they are not. It's somewhere deep in the relationship that their true nature would begin to unfold. I just hope it's not too late before you realize this. Desiring what is good is not bad, but I want you to know that nobody can ever be 100% perfect. You cannot see all the qualities that you are looking for in a partner all at once. Most times you have to be the one that works it up until they become the version of who you want them to be, but not also completely changing to someone they are not. You must be willing to balance having expectations and accepting your partner for who they are. There is no perfect match anywhere or a perfect relationship. Everyone is only trying to find a balance. It's time to stop being a perfectionist and looking for someone perfect because you are going to be looking for someone for a long time and end up falling for the wrong people. Toxic people are always in search of someone who they can take advantage of. So, you better don't put yourself in the position where you appear as prey. Adjust your standards and keep your heart open for true love. Lastly, the reason why you are attracting toxic and wrong people is that you are looking for someone you need and not someone you want. It's easy for us to fall in love with someone that we think that we need rather than someone that we want. Before starting any relationship, you need to ask yourself, why do you desire this relationship in the first place? Your desire should not come from a place of need because the truth is that apart from Jesus, no one can make you feel whole, complete, and fulfill all your needs. You need to be able to do that for yourself. You should be looking for an interesting partner who is going to be your equal and not someone who is going to be your emotional caretaker. When you are looking for someone to complete you, you tend to look for someone to have what you don't have. And therein lies the problem because the moment they realize that that's what you want, they will take advantage of you, use you for their benefit. Be with someone you want and not someone you need. You only need Christ to complete you. Although the reason why we attract toxic and wrong people could be from the positive traits we possess, it doesn't mean we change who we are. At some point, you will make a change in someone's life, but please set boundaries and make the necessary adjustments. My prayer for you is that you meet someone who will appreciate you for all of you and not take advantage of you.